Hey guys, it's Water Creeper Gaming. I know it's been like two weeks since I've uploaded, but yeah. As you can see, we're taking a break from the main building. Oh yeah, this is part seven, I think. But part seven, my university. We're taking a break from the main building. I'm going to the garden. I got the whole layout. So this episode will pro like garden will probably just be a single episode. Once we get all the other buildings around, we'll go back to the main building, but it'll probably be almost completed by then, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll just take you through what we got. So these are going to be a small little flower beds. I'm going to sort of make them a little less sharp angled once I get them filled in and all. And then this is a little garden shed. So yeah, why don't we just start with building up the surrounding hedge. This is going to go up seven, yeah, no, five. It, it's going to go up five blocks, and going to be like that all the way around. But it's going to be like this over here. Go back to you once I have it built all the way up. Alright, I've built it all the way up. Now, let's work on the path. So I've chosen to have the path inside the garden three. I was originally going to do five, but I figured for some places it would just be too big. So, I went with three. Uh, oh yeah, so, I'm gonna, uh, this will probably be one of the longest videos of the Mineversity series, because I'm gonna get this whole area done in one episode, but, other than that, so, the new channel, I have decided officially, it's gonna be Water Creeper True Crime, so I'll just talk about crime cases and all, uh, the first... Uh, video will be uploading uh, Friday at around 6 or 5 p.m. It, it'll probably be a part one, but yeah. And I I don't mean any disrespect to any uh, families that are, that are mentioned in the series. Uh, it. But it is officially a true crime one. I know it's not like any of the options, but it's like, writing true crime would be easy. And yeah. I will be reading off a script, unlike the gaming ones, because I just let whatever comes to my mind just say, well, that's appropriate for the channel at least. <laughs> But, yeah, so the official new channel will be Water Creeper True Crime. I... And the first episode is Friday around 5 to 6 p.m. So, I will link the channel in the comment, or in the description, if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> and, yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna pause the video now. Alright, so for the sides where this ends, that's not connected to there or there, I'm going to put a bench, and then on the side, I'm going to grab a brown, brown terracotta, dark oak trap door, and for this, I'm going to do spruce leaves. So then place one brown terracotta on the side, and then surround it by two trap doors since the other two sides are surrounded, and go up by three with spruce leaves. That's what it's going to be on each, on the other side as well. Just saying. Alright, the pathing is now filled in, so we're going to go over to each of the corners. For this, I'm going to need Podzel, if that's even how you say it, I, I, I can't remember. And then I'm going to want to fill each one of them in. 
Okay. Okay. Finally. That took a while. Anyways. Real quick, let me just put in the map. Yeah, I, uh, I did fill up those. Because I realized I forgot to do that in the last episode. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so right now I want to kind of get a little bit more vari like variation, I guess. Like, make it a little more curved and not just sharp. So I'm gonna go one off from this from this point and then go down go out one and two. And then three. And then I'm gonna then for this side, I'ma just go down all the way. Till it's like that. And then I'm gonna do that. And that's what I'm gonna do over here. But then for here. I'm gonna do the same thing, except go all the way down. It's only gonna be for the front two spots that I actually do do that. Uh, the front two spots are only gonna have are gonna be the only spots with this. The rest of it will be like this. So yeah, I'm gonna go around. Uh, do that to everything, and I'll get back to you then. Alright. So we got that. I know it's not exactly the prettiest looking thing. So I'm gonna change that. No quick, let me do that. Okay, so. I'm gonna grab some more jungle leaves. And... Yeah, I'll just use jungle leaves for now. Just around these spots, I'm gonna add some, a single, well, double layered amount of jungle leaves, just to add a little bit of difference, I guess. I, I don't know the best way to say that. Uh, once I get this, I'm actually gonna build a fountain, which is right there. Okay, so for this, I'll build up the stone brick one. Well, cobblestone, not stone brick. Then fill the entire center in with it. Then in the center, we'll place three cobblestone. And then one regular cobblestone stair facing with the dip facing towards the entrance and then cobblestone slab above it then well actually we'll place cobblestone slab there or no dang it indecisive there best thing you can do and this will dispense the water And there, got the fountain. Not the best looking one, but it'll do. It'll do. Now, around each spot here, I'm gonna place some seating, like this. And then, same thing I did over with the other seating spots. I'm gonna do place that then around each spot I'm gonna do that then go up three and just do that to each spot I don't know why I was just looking around confused but yeah I like that you want to have that done okay so I decided to have this go up a total of seven just add a little height variation. Also, uh, I didn't want these just poking out over the bushes here, so I decided to just have a have a go high up, like by seven. So yeah. Now we're gonna go work on the shed. So for this, 
I'm using spruce planks, and I'm going to go around it up five more from this. Alright, this is what it looks like. So then inside, I actually want to do an oak flooring, kind of get color variation as well. You know, so sometimes I wonder if it's really necessary to do this much work just for YouTube. If any of you feel like whenever you build a large Minecraft thing, it's kind of like torture, put in the comments hashtag relatable. I swear, it's a, like kind of exhausting. But put hashtag relatable if you feel burnt out or something while building in Minecraft. So for this, I want dark oak, and then I want to go around like this. Well, this is like dark oak slab specifically. And I'm just gonna go up and diagonal till it's get got to the center. And then diagonal down. And then go around. That sort of rhymed. Then do a similar diagonal right here. Except shorter. And then I'm gonna go over to all these spots and fill it in. I don't know where this accent came from. Now, just gonna go around like this. I'm literally just, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna pause this. <laughs> okay, so. After that monologue, I paused it, and I decided to just make uh, this sort of round because it kind of looked weird having a larger bump behind a smaller bump. Like it didn't. It it, it looks odd. <laughs> so yeah, this is the shed. I'm gonna just place a spruce door, a birch door, a dark oak door. There we go. And from here, grab spruit, dark oak fence, glowstone, and oak trap door. Then from there, place one, and then under that, a single glowstone. Then surround it by oak trap doors. Just a little bit of lighting. Now we're gonna focus on all of these. I'm gonna sort of color code each section. So like, this will be blue and pinks. I no. Okay, so I must just start over here. This will be reds and this will be pinks and reds. So like, poppies, alliums. Red tulips, peony, rosebush, lilac, pink tulips, poppies, all those. And then I'm just gonna randomly scatter them about. And I'll get back to you once I have that done. Alright. This is what I came up with for the flower bed of the reds and pinks. Just scattered the smaller ones about, and then on the edge I did a pattern of the red and pink. Peonies and rose bushes on this side, lilacs and rose bushes on this side. Perfect. So now, it's gonna be oranges and yellows and whites. No, not whites. Oxy Daisy will go in it, but it'll also go with the blues. So blue and white will be in the next uh, set. Yeah, so, I'm just go around the edge and place a bunch of sunflowers. Alright, this is what I came up with for the orange, yellows, and whites. Since the oxy daisy is yellow, I put it in this, just because. 
So we got the dandelion, or not dandelion, sunflowers in the back, and then it goes oxy daisy, orange tulip, dandelion. Oxy daisy, orange tulip, dandelion. And it goes like that until it reaches to the end here. Now, over here for the blues. So there's really only one blue. So I'm going to do the other two whites in this one, and then put the, and then over here I'm going to put the fern and other fern, if that makes sense. I have no idea what to put in this one. So yeah, I'm going to get a design for this going. All right. So I basically just did the reverse of this and had it go start from here and go all the way that way. So yeah, that's the blues and whites. I don't know what to do with this one yet. I might just go around with different leaves and then add tall and short ferns. But yeah, I'm going to go around with oak and spruce leaves. Just say, like... Yeah, I'm going to do this. And... Yeah. <gasps> yeah. All right, done with the garden, well, outer garden, still gonna do the shed. I've decided I'm gonna do two separate things this episode. I'll probably work, uh, probably just go over on this side and plot out the plaza. Oh uh, yeah, real quick, I do wanna show you the four new buildings I've added. So, there's going to be a flower store, and a food market. Then over here, got a cafe, and then a dance studio for anyone who takes dance class. Because why not? <laughs> yeah, so I'll probably just work on planning out that area for the rest of the episode. And then next episode, I'll probably work on the auditorium, which is over here. So next episode will be the auditorium. I'll have it completely planned out next episode, but yeah. Alright, so. Now, into the shed. And... First thing, I'm gonna need to get some light. So iron bars, not sea lantern. Glowstone and oak trap door. Two, Let me just put that one up. And real quick, just so it doesn't look so weird. There we go. So now. I'm gonna go to the sides with, with a... I'm gonna do this. Yeah, shelf. I'm just gonna do the interior and come back. Okay, so I got the interior done, I guess. Actually, let me just add a little... Uh, just a little bit of a change. This was literally, I just now decided to. But, so I'm gonna place a little pink tulip carpet. I'll probably go back and edit it, make it look a little better, but for now, this will be it. 
So, after thinking while working on this, I figured, since I'm always up for a mystery in the school, I might have a little underground area down here. Just a little staff only. And garden club as well. But I'm gonna have a little secret area under here. So, I'm gonna get a whole, like, I'm gonna get that area digged out. I'll, I'll get back to you then. I've decided to cut this part into this and thing into two parts. Part one, completing the above ground area, which has been accomplished. Part two, I'll build some sort of secret under the shed. I'm not sure yet. I need to think about that. So, I'm gonna just leave this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.